What's up, ballers? It's Drew here, and today I will be doing a review on the new, not new, Nerf Retaliator. In case you guys are wondering, I do pay for this stuff with my own money most of the time. So, um, so just letting you guys know that, um, so let's get going to the review. Um, it's very modular, it comes with a barrel extension, a drop grip, which I got off, um, and it comes with a 12 dart magazine, it has two rails on the barrel extension and one rail at the priming system. And it also comes with a rigid stock that is a tad too small for me, but I'll use it anyway. And it works, and it has 12 dart magazine. I don't know if I've already said that. The priming system's good. Um, and also at the bottom, there's a little place where you can store dart like the Alpha Trooper. So now we're getting to the more basic function of this gun. It has a slide priming thing, um, and it has the same internal size as the Alpha Trooper, I'm pretty sure. It has a flip up sight on the barrel extension. Um, it has the same internals as the Alpha Trooper, so it's basically an Alpha Trooper reskin, except with the pump right there. You, it has a slide, which is annoying. And, but, at Worker, you can get a pump grip kit, where the slide is back here, and cut off or something, and then there's a pump that you can go, and, <coughs> and get that, good. you it has a slide, which is annoying, and, but, at Worker, you can get a pump grip kit, where the slide is back here, and cut off or something, and then there's a pump that you can go and <coughs> and get that good. So now I will do the attachments on something a little more um, customizable, at, not out of the box, like the strife, which this I today I actually noticed. How heavy the strife actually is compared to the retaliator because the retaliator is pretty light with the attachments still on it. So if I put the attachments on it, then it's still like less light than the strife, which I think because it has the batteries in it and stuff like that. But even without the um the without a drum in it um it's still pretty heavy. Be doing two firing tests: one with the normal elite darts and one with the AccuStrike darts. The elite darts. Now with the AccuStrike darts with a tactical time lapse. Tactical time lapse. Now with the AccuStrike darts. So, um, with the 
elite darts, I did have some GMs and malfunctions. I don't know if that was the gun or if it was a user error. But with the AccuStrike darts, it was very consistent and very um precise because they're AccuStrike. So my recommendations for the gun. I recommend it if you're a little small because um the stock oh gosh the stock um is a little small I have to do like a chicken wing for it to actually fit I would recommend something a little larger but it works just fine for me I guess but um the 12 dart magazine I have no problem with the barrel extension and the drop grip I have no problems with. Um, they were just fine. The barrel extension does kind of mess it up a little. So does every other barrel extension. Um, uh, so yeah. That will be the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. What is that?